Hi everyone, my name is Tyler and this is Aftertouch Audio. Today we're going to be looking at part two of our template series. If you've missed part one, click Crash's head over there and uh, it'll kind of take you to part one where we focus on dialogue and how that whole thing is structured. Today we're going to be focusing on music and then the next episode we'll be doing uh, Foley as well. So without any further ado, let's get right into the DAW and get into it. Okay, before we get started, if you would like to go ahead and support this channel, consider checking out the link in the description below where we have dozens of sound effects libraries catered for your professional needs. Just a quick overview, this is what the finished template looks like, but we're going to part it out. So what I'm going to actually do is hide everything that is irrelevant to this video and we'll kind of break it out into pieces as we go. So let's hide the dialogue, we'll hide the Foley and all of this other stuff, and then we'll also hide this. So let's look at just the music for this section. Okay, so when we open up the music, you'll see we have a music master track as well as a music marker track and a music VCA track. That's going to be pretty much the same across every um, instance we do. There'll be a master track, there'll be a markers track, and there'll be a VCA track. So that's at the very, very top. Um, but let's go ahead and look at the routing for these tracks right quick. So if I bring this up on the inserts themselves, I just have an instance of ISL2, which is just my true peak limiter. Really, any true peak limiter will work. I just use the ISL2 stuff because it looks pretty and it's very nice. Uh, I very much like their plugins. Moving over to the routing side, you'll see that um, the routing is actually fairly simple for the music. It goes, everything goes into a music master track, which then goes into a stereo master track, which then goes into my master out. That's essentially all I have going on there. Um, I do a lot of volume automation. Um, things that'll go ahead and load on the actual tracks themselves are things like EQ, um, but on the master track, it's pretty bare. Starting off with the template itself, I have eight stereo uh, tracks themselves. These here are for stems, they're for individual audio tracks, they're for full mixes, they're for whatever you need. I can duplicate these out if I need more of them, but effectively I found eight to be a good sort of number to kind of deal with pretty much everything. But if I need more, I can just duplicate more, they're not that big of a deal. So let's go ahead and open one up and I'll kind of show you what's going on with them and the routing and all that stuff. So let's just open one up. So here, I don't actually use delays in the sense, um, solely because I just, if I need them, I'll add them to the actual tracks themselves. They're the only thing in this template that doesn't use the delays, but you can add them if you do so want. So I have, again, the room, the hall, the exterior, and the car. Same across everything. On the insert side, I have a EQ with a high cut and a low cut. Not just to kind of help filter transitions and stuff like that, but I can also go ahead and do some custom EQs, like a mid dip to make some more room for the dialogue. Over on the actual routing side, all of my actual music tracks go from um, their, their respective tracks themselves into the master and then the, right to the stereo out. There's not a whole lot going on in terms of the actual music routing. It's pretty straightforward. So we'll get out of that and move on to the next section, which is the music futz tracks. And this is the exact same thing as the dialogue futz tracks, which the only thing that they have in difference is speakerphone. And I use speakerphone again to go ahead and make music sound like it's coming out of a speaker, whether it be a car speaker, a radio, a megaphone, a uh, little smartphone, earbuds, anything like that. This, this program pretty much does it all. So I, I use that all the time across a lot of mixes. I don't think there's been a mix really that I haven't really used that on. Um, but with that being said, um, it's the same uh, same sense, it's the same routing, it's the same everything. Um, and then all of my, of course, my Futz tracks get their own VCA fader as well. And I'll kind of just put up the routing here on, on a little diagram so you guys can kind of see how everything works in the music section. You know, you have um, a dedicated music tracks, so they all go to their music master. Then you have your music futz tracks. They also go to the music master. And then all the sends, of course, go to the music master itself uh, rather than, you know, going to their individual sub mixes and stuff like that. I, I find that workaround to be a lot easier to work with. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. We're going to be moving on to part three in the next episode, which is Foley. So um, I'm really looking forward to that. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Would you like a bath? Huh? Would you like a bath? Yeah. <laughs> would you would you like a bath? I, I think you would like a bath. 